Hi everyone, it's Leah or Alyssus and welcome back to another Fairy Core Let's Play. Before we get started with this episode, I just want to say that we are now YouTube partnered and I want to thank every single one of you guys for watching my videos and just for the support overall, especially this series. The support has been insane and it's really helped me reach my goals. So it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for you guys. I'm really excited because this is a goal that I didn't think I would be able to reach this year. But with the help of you guys, I was able to do it and I'm just really, really grateful. With that being said, you guys can now be a member of my channel. You could press the join button if you wanted. It really supports me and you also get some really cool perks. I also wanted to let you guys know that I did add a bunch of new mods. So if you were playing along with this mod pack, there is a mod pack update if you wanted to try those mods. And we're going to get to experience it throughout the series as well. And lastly, if you guys haven't yet, go ahead and join my Discord server because I love chatting with you guys and I love seeing the things that people are doing with my mod pack and just seeing everybody's builds and experiences has been really really cool so if you're playing along with the mod pack i definitely recommend joining the discord and if you're not playing the mod pack go ahead and join as well because i love to just chat with everybody and i hope to see you guys there now without further ado let's get started with today's episode so if we look around a little bit you guys can actually see that we did some work off camera as well as on stream i streamed i think on tuesday or Wednesday, I'm not sure. But I did stream and I basically got rid a lot of the trees. And if we go over here, it is more clear now. And we actually kind of made pathways. Oh my god, this ant. Um, <laughs> I saw it on the map. But, oh my gosh, you guys are so noisy. But basically, when you look at the map, it kind of leads to different places that I wanted to open a pathway to. Which in this case is a pathway to this dark oak little pond here which is very beautiful because i wanted to expand our area this way and it would just look really pretty um it would be like a tree here or something and you know this is going to be one of our areas and then the other way that i opened up the pathway to is i think what is this area here this little like forest opening um i'm just gonna show you guys basically when you get back up here from the staircase um, this area is opened a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I kind of just kept the water flowing from the trees because I'm thinking of adding either a waterfall here or something. But basically, this opens up a pathway to this little, like, house structure as well as this really cool generated pond. So I thought it was kind of like, it reminded me sort of like a fairy or like a mermaid cove or something. So we're going to keep that and obviously this pathway isn't finished whatsoever but I did want it to lead to this house as well as these like couple of houses next to it. So this one and then maybe it'll lead to here or something. I don't know but that's kind of more of a future expansion if I even get to use the areas that I've showed you guys so far. Um, and then obviously a pathway to the big mushroom, which we're not really going to go to because we kind of already have been there a lot. And there's more yellow wisp, which I actually have some gold now, but I guess we could tame them another time because our area is kind of overfilling with a bunch of creatures, if you guys could not already tell. That's the plan, and obviously I've been putting all the items that I've been collecting into these chests over here, and... So far, everything's looking good. Oh, and I also actually marked up the places that I wanted to build or put things in. So this is just like area pathways, which I obviously showed you guys. And here, I kind of want to build like a bridge or an archway or arcway, archway? Yeah, archway, like kind of going across just so we could get to that area. Cause you know, this area here, I'm getting a little lazy too clear it out for now so i kind of want to do an archway i feel like that would be really cute and then some other areas over there i don't know i'm i'm not too sure yet but i know one thing and one thing only i've been planning where things are gonna go and i wanted to do a tree stump or like a tree house kind of for an enchantment area and it's gonna go over here obviously we don't have a pathway to that area yet 
and I kind of wanted to get to it by actually having these platforms kind of wrap around it and then lead to it but I don't think we're gonna get to do that for today's episode because I have other things planned so basically I'm just gonna build the tree stump or tree house whatever I decide to do in this area and it's gonna have like a temporary way to get up but it won't be the permanent way but I don't know, it's just so steep, you know, but we're gonna see what's gonna happen, we're gonna build, and for now, we're just gonna gather the materials that I have been collecting. We are gonna bring different types of leaves, depending on which one I'm feeling for the tree. Actually, let's do the blossom log. We're gonna do the blossom log to outline. I think this might be all I need to build the base of the tree, and then after that, we will kind of start decorating them. Okay, so this is kind of what I mean with the platforms. I wanted to use it as like a pathway, but obviously we're not going to get to that today. And these guys, you guys are always bothering me, I swear. I wish there was like an anti-pillager spawner. Because they're very annoying. But anyways, I hear more. Where are you guys coming? Oh my god, he's stuck on the tree like a little loser. By the way, I know Sleepy actually said that they liked when I kept terraforming, inventory sorting, and simple things like that on camera because, you know, it's something that they're interested in. And I guess for me, it's just hard to do too because I do have a lot of background noise. So you will notice sometimes my videos are rushed, but I'm going to try my best to keep those there. And I guess sometimes I could just have my mic muted if that's something you guys are interested in. I don't know, but I feel like I do talk a lot when <laughs> I am playing or recording. But if that's something that wouldn't bother you guys, I will totally be down to keep that stuff on video. And yeah, but basically, I just want to build the little base for this, which I don't actually like it this low. So I think we'll have the actual enchantment room somewhere like here. Oh, that's a carpet. Um, somewhere like here, and then we'll come out like this. And there you go. So this is the enchantment table itself. Um, and then I kind of want to build around this and expand it a little more than it actually is gonna be by the way whoever ended up leaving that comment i just want to say thanks to you because your comment really really made my day and same thing for everybody you know i just love reading everyone's comments on my episodes it's really cool and i'm so glad i could be background for you guys or someone you just watch before you sleep it's really really nice and it's just like, it makes me so happy that you guys feel that way about my videos. But yeah, so this is the base of the enchantment table. Um, it's gonna look a little wonky at first, but we're gonna work through it, okay? <laughs> um, so... I guess we're just gonna make, like, a circle. The thing is, I want this to be a little bit bigger than the enchantment room, like I said. Because... I want space for, like, stairs and stuff. But, oh my gosh, I don't even know. Let's see. Yeah, I think this should be okay. This should be fine. So we're just going to start placing blocks that I for sure want like this. Now we're going to expand this a little bit more. I think this, yeah, this is a good amount of room. Um, we could always make changes, so you don't have to exactly follow it either. But this is just how I want to... This is just like an estimate of how things will look. And I think... Like this. Make a side longer.
and the back will kind of just figure out for the rest of the build yeah i think this is a pretty good shaped tree and we will kind of build the base off of this one really quickly i went to craft some stone axes and i'm basically ready to start building at this point i'm gonna do it like this where the spruce log is here um, it is a little harder to see with this lighting, so it's kind of rough. By the way, someone did tell me to put my brightness all the way up. And I don't know if this helped, but I think it's just because I have shaders that it's so dark. Um, yeah, so let's just sleep really quickly. Oh, it's raining. Yes. The rain's going to go away, though, because I slept, unfortunately. But, ooh, we got an old root. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're just gonna randomly place the stump, I think, right? <laughs> I think, yeah. So I like this color. I think we're gonna keep this color. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep this color. And... Actually, before I do that, we're just going to outline it still, like the base that I put. And we're going to do that, do that, oh, shoot. And we could start like adding things later on. But for now, we're just going to outline it, like I said. Um, mm -hmm. Do I care if it's symmetrical? Probably not because it is a tree, so we're going to... It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, guys. Um, I feel like it's not fine to me, but it's okay. And these ones, since they are at the back, I will work on it later on. So we're just going to place them like so. Like so. And like so. Oh, I don't want to put that there. Oh, no. Yeah, I think this is a good shape so far. I don't know, but we gotta trust the process. This is just like for the walls, I guess. Not necessarily for the outside build. It's a good thing I have been farming these spruce trees with the hoppers because if not, I wouldn't have any materials. <laughs> so this is good. We're off to a good start. <laughs> And now I'm going to build a tree a little higher up. So these pillars here will have to be on the higher side because um, they're like the actual base. So, we're gonna move it up like this, just so that we could see the shape. Okay, I might seem like I know what I'm doing, but I really don't. <laughs> um, not that I'm like BSing, but I don't really know how to build. So, if anybody has any building tips that they want to give, like, you know, it could be in general. Sorry, I'm just waiting for this vehicle to pass by to continue. But it could be in general, or it could be about this build. I don't really know. But, um, I mean, I'm just going to build it how I think looks good. But, you know, in general, if anybody has any tips, like, that I could use for, like, a future video or something, um, definitely leave it down below. Because one thing I wanted to do with the series is actually improve my building skills, which... I don't have any to begin with, <laughs> so um, any tips would be greatly appreciated. I don't know. Um, okay, let's... And we are just about to finish with layering, or not layering, but putting up the stump. Is it stump or stomp? I think it's stump. Yeah, it's stump. <laughs> Not me second guessing myself with everything now. Oh my gosh. But this should be good right here. Yes. Oh. 
Oh, I made it a little higher than I meant to, but it is a okay. Now we'll leave an entrance right there. And I for sure want it all to be... This is good, I think. Oh no, I got stuck. <laughs> yeah, this should be okay. Um, So let's see it from afar. It is a little rough to do this without creative. Like, I hate not seeing things, but... It's fine. Oh my gosh, it looks so bad right now, you guys. But don't worry, we're gonna... <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna... <laughs> I don't know if I should keep this going. <laughs> I feel like it looks so bad. But, you know, I feel like cheese. You really do have to trust the process. Which right now, I'm honestly not trusting too much. But we're going to expand its roots first. Um, and see where that gets us. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I'm really embarrassed about this tree, actually. It looks good, right? You guys think it looks good? I'm just kidding. We just have to add layers to it or something. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a crafting table real quickly. And I'm just gonna put it inside the tree. So I really like the space. I love how spacious it is inside. So perfect in terms of that department. However, I can't speak for everything else. <laughs> We're just gonna see how the outside turns out. Want this. I don't want you guys right now. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, it's looking slightly better. I don't know if I want to make it a treehouse or a stump. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. Poor witches militia. I killed 10 of them. Okay, so I do like this, but if I want to make it a tree stump, um, I kind of have to do it in a way where it kind of caves or like closes a little bit. So that's going to be what I'm going to be doing for the next few minutes, I think. And just kind of close it up, basically, because... Yeah, I like this. Um, oopsies.
just to give it like layers of the tree itself and i think it looks really cool anyway if we did it like this oh no i didn't mean to put it there And we'll do the same thing on this other side, just kind of have it Some of them will be on this level, but then some of them will be like in a different level I don't know what I'm doing, but I hope it looks good And obviously some of them I still have to get rid of, but this is kind of how it's gonna end above, which is gonna probably use this as a second floor or something just to make it look more cute that would be really fun um yeah um obviously there's no details on the tree just yet but that's kind of how i plan to end it so i'm not a big fan of the above part but i have plans for it you guys are just gonna have to wait and see what we could do now is just start adding in some details like slabs and I think also fences will do. Um, I think those are always really cute.
we're just gonna pretend that that didn't happen oh i'm like a ghostly shape so i guess after you die i didn't even notice this and i've used this mod before but after you die you actually do kind of turn into a ghost so that the monsters don't see you just so you could unlock your inventory again which is really really cool but i think when you do like an action the ghostly shape wears off so that's why but this is what the tree is looking like it is actually looking a lot better than what i had in mind um i don't know we still have to add nature to it but that's kind of just what i'm gonna be working on as i keep building and i'm also gonna clear up the space over here um because obviously it's not the best and i still have to strip these logs so that's what i'm gonna be doing and i will get back to you guys once the inside is in a much better state let's just say
Okay, so it has been a few days and I actually picked up the stump a little bit and instead of just the body, I added a tree above it, which is just an azalea tree. And I kind of like how it looks. Um, I do think it's missing a little bit more things, but I think it's definitely one of those things where it looks good right now, but I can also add on a bunch of other materials that I don't have yet the access to. This is what it looks like coming in. Obviously, this still needs a lot of work, but I might just do a staircase off camera. And the inside is pretty nice. And when we go upstairs, it leads to this cute little area. I really like the way it looks. I was even thinking of making this look like a heart, but I don't know. I kind of want to add more leaves to it. I'm just not sure just when yet, but... I really like how it's looking and I'm actually going to go ahead and place my enchantment table in here and actually place the bookshelves because I just want to be able to enchant. Um, that's the thing that matters the most because I would like to start working on my tools. I also went ahead and brought a bunch of decorations with me and all the items that I was able to get from the structures from before I'm going to be putting around this area just because I want to decorate it a little bit. But the first thing that I'm going to do is actually craft a bunch of bookshelves because, you know, that's how the enchantments will work. But... I'm not sure if I even have enough, but however, I do have leather, so if we don't have enough, it should be okay. So, the way to build an enchantment table is this way. Oh no! <laughs> Crap. Um, I think it still gave us three books, but that was really bad. No! <laughs> oh my god, this is a flop. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. I think it might just be like two. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's just two layers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but what I'm gonna have to do is actually gather the sugarcane that I planted and turn the rest into books. Now it should be enough. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, but I think this is the max enchantment. But I kind of obviously want to increase it more. But just for the sake of actually enchanting and getting it done, we're going to leave it like this. And I guess I'm just going to go crazy and start decorating with what we have. So we do have this cute cyan lamp. And I'm just going to start placing things everywhere. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, It's like a cute little office-like area. Oh, I love it. Yes. I love the decor in this. And then we could put a little like chair there. And a spruce chair here. Oh, I love it. It is so cute. But also furniture has some of the best, like cutest um decor that I've seen in a while. I really like it. Um, we could also put some candles around. We also have red candles, so. We could do a mix and match of red and white. Um, we'll also put them around a tree. Like so. We technically don't need them for lighting because, you know, we already have lanterns. But I think they just look cute. And really matches the build. And then I think we could start putting... I don't want to put mushrooms in here. It's going to get too crowded. Um, and I do have these player heads from one of the structures. So for these, we're going to kind of just place them here. Like so. That is adorable, actually. And then we could decorate around this tree. And just place a bunch of cute mushroom heads down. Um, we'll do we'll try to do different kinds of mushrooms so that there's kind of texture everywhere. Like here. This one, this one, and this one. We'll do one of each mushroom, I think. 
this one this one is cute and then this last one which is like a super detailed red mushroom can go up here and right away our tree is already starting to look better I mean, it's technically not a tree, it's a stump, but you know, it is what it is. I thought these were going to be bigger, but <laughs> it is way smaller than I thought. But honestly, they will do. I just really like the way that they look and the fact that they're not going to grow. I really like, so we could kind of just flop them down in some areas like you. Oh, it could go around the stump, actually. We could kind of make it like it's growing mushrooms. Um, yes, I like that. And I will put one somewhere above here. Oh no, I couldn't reach it. I think here is perfect, but some parts... Um, if this area, maybe we will turn into something later. Like a place for Lou, maybe? I don't really know, but we'll kind of see what happens. And if there's any buildings that you guys would specifically like to see around this world, do let me know down below. I kind of want to do a structure for each, like, not each work table, but, you know, kind of like a blacksmith and something for, like, the loom. I'm not too sure, but... Yeah, and there's also this cut oak post, which I think it's just details. Um, oh, it's like, it could almost be like a staircase. That is very cool. And of course, our handy dandy grindstone. This one I usually like to keep in the same room as the enchantment room, just because, you know, you are going to need it for that. So I might place it like here. Um right there these chests will be removed and we're gonna have storage later on for like the lapis and my enchantments but right now obviously we're still decorating um and i think i'll do the bell up here like this oh that's really cute actually I think the storage for this area will be with barrels, but obviously we still have things in here. So that's just something I'll do off camera, I think. So don't be shook if you guys see any barrels next episode. Um, then we'll just place these there. And I think that is about everything that I can make for this area. Or put down anyway. Um... Okay, I think we'll do that. We're going to put the magic tree with these cute emojis. Um, if you guys have a better name idea for this tree stump, let me know. Because it's clearly not a tree. <laughs> uh, and then maybe like throughout the series, maybe we could make this stump like actually bloom into a tree or something. I don't know. That would be a cute idea. But yeah, I think we could add on to it later on but for now i think this is just a perfect little enchanting area and all of these are gonna go in here and we're gonna have to sort this later so goodbye <laughs> okay i know it has been one long episode but i feel like we've been productive with the enchantment tree but i actually wanted to start on the create mod today and there's just a couple of things that I want to make to get us started. So first we have this mechanical press which needs block of iron and a shaft. So this mechanical saw which just needs the same things as well as this iron plate. Which can be crafted I believe by... Oh my gosh, I keep clicking on the wrong one. <laughs> um, I think it could be crafted... Oh my god, okay. It could be crafted with the mechanical press and then we also need to make this hand crank which they all kind of just require andesite alloy so unfortunately they're not able to cook it but we do have a bunch of sink so we're just gonna let that smelt and we could start gathering the things that we do need so we could either use iron or zinc nuggets, but obviously in this case, I think it's just better 
if we do sink nuggets just because we have more of this for the mod itself so let's just do that one and then i think we need to make an andesite alloy now which is pretty simple so we just need andesite and sink nuggets and i'm gonna make a bit of this just because i know i'm gonna need it in the future and now we have obtained andesite alloy and it's the most important resource so we're gonna right click this block and now we have andesite casing this was really confusing to understand because i know that this casing is important in some of the recipes but i didn't know how to obtain this for the longest time and now we know and it is pretty simple I do think it looks neat. I feel like this could make for a good flooring even. So we're just gonna kind of do it for the rest of them. Just because I know we're gonna end up using it. And it is one of the mods that I would really like to learn and get into. By the way, if anyone has any recommendations or any tips with the create mod, I do have a bunch of add-ons and it's something I've always wanted to get into but never really did. So, you know, if you guys would like to give me any tips on this mod, I would really appreciate it because, like I said, it's something I've been wanting to get into. And I think they just have a bunch of really cool things that you could do with it, you know? So, yeah. Um, yeah, we even have decorations mod for this one. We even got some decorations mods. We got steam and rails. And just like a bunch of different things that we could experiment with. Okay, now that we got the casing, we just need the shaft itself. And with this one, we can just do that. And we do have more sink ingots cooking, so this should be a-okay. And I think for the shaft, that might be it. But we can now craft the mechanical press and the mechanical saw, not just yet. This one though, we can craft and we also need andesite alloy, so I think we should have more andesite here. Okay, let's see. <gasps> Did it work? Did you turn into... Yes, it turned into an iron sheet. Let's go. So I think we need two more of these and we just have to do... The crank one more time. Like so. And we now have three iron sheets. And I believe now we should have all the recipes for everything that we're going to need. So yeah, we now have our mechanical saw. This is so exciting. I always love doing things like this. Um, it's very fun, though I don't do it often. But very exciting stuff right here. Um... But I wanted to show you guys what I actually wanted to do with these trees. And that is actually to farm these lavender trees because they take a while to cut down. So I think we just have to do... Nope, not this way. Um, okay, I think it's actually like this. There you go. And we should be able to just put this here. And it is going to cut down the tree. And it gets rid of the whole thing. It's gonna come in so handy because usually when I do it the way that I do with just the regular axe, it doesn't cut down the full tree. So it's just gonna be a lot easier to farm these lavender trees this way. And oh my gosh, you guys are back again? Jesus, leave me alone. I also wanted to show you guys. So I've been curious about these crunchers, so I actually searched them up. And I found out that you could literally shear them for your moss carpet. Which we're probably going to need lots of it this area. But I don't think it's supposed to be giving me this much. But for some reason, it's just infinite moss carpets. So this is kind of a little life hack <laughs> or cheat, whatever you want to call it. But it's given me a lot of moss carpets. So I will definitely take it. They're very cute though. I like having them around, um, but we probably need to move this oil one of these days. But yeah, 
that is just like one simple way to kind of farm trees and i think it's really cool to be able to include the create mod in our adventure this way now that is just one little thing that i wanted to do but hopefully in the next few episodes we could do something a little bit more advanced or learn something new but yeah, like I said, if you guys have any recommendations or any life hacks that you might have or any tips for the create mod, do let me know down below in the comments because I'm always looking to experiment with new things to do. Of course, what we're going to have to do right now is actually go ahead and bring some of our lapis to the enchantment tree. And what we're going to do is actually enchant our pickaxe because obviously um, we don't have a lot of armor at the moment. But I did want to enchant this pickaxe to see if there's anything cool that I get. And just to make sure that it's actually working, the enchantments. And it looks like we do reach the max levels of enchantments. So we got efficiency, silk touch, and efficiency 4. I do want to get that silk touch enchantment on this, but obviously I don't have enough levels right now so off camera i'm gonna try not to die and hopefully we could enchant it next episode but as of right now i'm gonna put my pickaxe and my lapis into this drawer and hopefully we can come back to this next episode that's going to be it for today's episode of my fairy core let's play i really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and let me know what you guys think of this type of video where sometimes it's just gonna be me playing in the background or just you know me building um let me know what you guys think and even though we didn't get to explore a lot today i feel pretty good about the magic tree or the magic stump if you may like i said thank you guys so much for all the support and i wouldn't be a youtube partner if it wasn't for you guys so i really really appreciate all the support and comments that everyone has been leaving celebrate lunar new year happy lunar new year and i hope you guys have a great weekend goodbye